What do you need to start as a realtor here in Ontario, Canada? In this video, we'll break down my five and also the costs of each. For the sake of this video though, I'm not gonna touch on your car, your phone, your monthly marketing budget, or anything like that. Just the tools we need, both digital and physical. I'll go through my five important ones, but at the end, I'll also show a big long list of potentials that you might use. Just quickly though, if you find these videos helpful, consider liking and subscribing. It means an absolute ton to me, but let's just dive right into the video. First on the list is access to the MLS, access to realtor.ca and what we use as realtors, Matrix. This tool is essentially the Bible for realtors. Your ability to access information of properties, run analytics, do CMAs, create contacts, send emails, book showings, create listings for your clients that show automatically on realtor.ca. This is 100% necessary. It comes with applications and resources as well like Geo Warehouse, tons of tools, none more important than web forms and Authentisign. It's basically an all-in-one package and it comes with your real estate board, your local real estate board you choose to join with. To access this information, you are now a realtor, but it does come with fees. We'll base this on my area of Waterloo region but basically if you're in Ontario, it'll be pretty similar, up or down just a little. It's a $1,000 initiation fee to start. I have a monthly fee of $110 and an annual fee of $155. So if we don't count the initiation fee, which is just a one-time fee, if we divide the 155 by 12, I pay $123 monthly to have the best tool we need as agents. It's a must and I'll accept it. Second on the list is your CRM and website. I'll bundle this together because it's smart to do so in today's market. There are plenty of packages that come with both and marketing options as well. I'll show you what I pay monthly again here at eXp Realty, but I will add that if you already have your own website and you're paying about $50 a month to run it, and you just want a CRM on the side, you literally can have something as simple as Google Sheets. I don't recommend it. I definitely recommend a good CRM because it can save you lots of time, but to each their own. Here at eXp Realty, we do get KV Core included in our monthly tech fee. And although that tech fee comes with a ton of tools, training and additional support, I'll put what I pay for my CRM and website at $156 per month. As usual, if you're looking for more information on eXp Realty, you can book a call with me in the description below to find out what eXp offers and what we provide on top of it. Third on the list, and let's get into the more physical objects, and first on the list would be your business cards. In my opinion, this is an insanely underrated tool. You are now a realtor, accept it and love it. Try to get that business card in the hands of everyone you meet. Strike up conversations, be charming, go to local community events, hand it out to as many people as possible. At the beginning, you might just want to use the free option that your brokerage might provide. I'll be giving you about a thousand free business cards to start. But if you do want to take it up a notch a little and add a bit more design, a bit more unique selling propositions, and maybe a bit more quality, you'll want to use a local printer. Quality is more or less the design and the thickness of the business card. And now we're real estate agents. We are dealing with high ticket sales. You definitely want a good looking business card. If you go to your local printer, they'll usually measure quality or the thickness of the card by 12 point, 14 point, or 16 point. Business cards on the low end could range from $30 for 500, middle range $75 per 500, all the way up to 200 per 500. $200 for 500 business cards might sound a bit excessive. Most people pay anywhere between that $30 range and that $70 range. To just Justify, however, spending $200 for 500 business cards, if you are handing that business card to someone that recognizes quality, it will be noticed. So if that real estate agent thinks to themselves, if I'm handing out a 40 cent business card, it's only 40 cents to me, but if the other person determines that's quality and they choose me as a real estate agent, this is amazing ROI, isn't it? To each their own, but I do find the business card is a very underrated real estate tool. Fourth on the list, and it's right behind business cards, still in the physical print, is make sure you have a stack of flyers or postcards to drop off. I strongly suggest time blocking X amount of time 
for door knocking or drop offs, but at the very least have a stack of flyers or postcards in your car, for instance, to maximize productivity. You're going to have late buyers show up to showings all of the time and sitting in your car, scrolling social media for me is not an option. Try to turn this late or possible useless showing into something productive, hit the streets and get these drop-offs in the hands of possible future clients. I guarantee opposed to scrolling Instagram or TikTok feeds, you'll feel like a million bucks after. You can get a thousand postcards, flyers or drop-offs for anywhere between 50 to $150. So five cents to 15 cents per drop-off and again, looking for that amazing return on investment. I'll put in the cards here the best door knocking script ever Ever. if you want to watch that if you want to start taking door knocking and drop offs serious fifth and last on the list before we get into the best of the rest is have a smartphone gimbal. If you're not familiar with a gimbal, it's a stabilization tool that you attach to your mobile phone. I love it for gathering B-roll for say a YouTube video, doing small property tours, or filming yourself on location vertically for Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. Once you get familiar with this tool, it's actually really fun to use. The quality comes out professional and really smooth. The newer ones even have this great feature set up that if you set it up on say your car or the kitchen countertop, you can actually walk from side to side and it follows you. Definitely a pretty cool feature. You can pick these gimbals up for about $150 to $250. I'll put a link in the description below to the one we use. Fun tool for sure. I'm definitely a mixture of new school and old school, but having some of these fun new tools can add some excitement to the day. Okay, let's finish this off with a good short list of possible tools, extra tools you might need in your real estate bag. First, phone or tablet charger, toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, sanitizers, paper, towels, home cleaning materials, air fresheners, even vacuum cleaners. We've all seen it before. If you haven't, you will. You'll have a listing that has been professionally cleaned or the owners say they're going to professionally clean it and then they live in it for a couple days and it starts to look messy. We have to have these tools ready for us to take action. A change of clothes would be nice. At the very least, let's say a t-shirt just in case we have that coffee spill. Healthy snacks to avoid fast food. One of my favorites, motivational or self-improvement books are fantastic to keep the energy high and the focus even higher. A journal. Journaling is a fantastic way to keep purpose, keep daily purpose. I love doing it because then you can reflect on the day. It can help with meditation or even just so you feel accomplished when you look at what you've achieved. There's a good short list of possible objects and software you might want to use as a real estate agent starting out. If you have any more, put them in the comments below. I'll add them to the list. I'll also add that list in the description below. Thanks so much for watching guys. And as usual, if you have any clients or yourself looking for properties in my area of Waterloo region, reach out. We'd love to provide that high level of client service. Again, thanks for watching. My name's Callum Moore, EXP Realty real estate agent here in Ontario, and we'll see you in the next one.